Aaron Copeland is one of my favorite composers. I mean, he's probably one of your favorite composers, too. But the Copeland you think about is probably the one who wrote the famous Western ballets like Billy the Kid or these amazing ceremonial, iconic pieces like Lincoln Portrait and even the symphonies. But you may not know the Copeland of music for the theater. And that's this wonderful gem of a piece that we're going to be performing this weekend. Now, this work really reminds me a little bit of Gershwin or another composer of the time, drawing on popular styles, but in this case, in particular, jazz and theatrical styles. So where Copeland had looked to uh, cowboy songs and music like that for his ballets, instead here he draws on a more urban backdrop for his inspiration. And so what you'll hear in this piece is just a ton of wonderful, vivacious rhythm, which of course is always part of Copeland's work, but very much informed by jazz music, a little bit more similar in a way to the clarinet concerto, which is another favorite piece of mine. And of course, this piece does feature clarinet as a solo instrument, as well as a number of other members of the orchestra playing prominent parts. It's scored for a small orchestra, and that's one of the things I love about it. We're often used to Copeland creating these sort of immense musical spaces using a full orchestra with his particular style of instrumentation. But in this case, we have something that's much more typical of the theatrical orchestra of like the 1920s. So if you think about the original Rhapsody in Blue by Gershwin, that was a piece that was just written for a small little jazz orchestra. And this is a similar type of ensemble. And it allows Copeland to create these textures, which really uh, remind us more of uh, you know, a theater orchestra or a jazz band, um, a more intimate setting and something in which the individuals and the group have a lot of interplay together. All of these things are just wonderful hallmarks of this piece, Music for the Theater. And we can't wait to perform it for you this weekend. <laughs> 